Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to a very quick uh, tutorial video on how to install my mods. Uh, these are the mods that I have created and most of them are basically like the same uh, normal desk strat uh, start position files. Um, I'm assuming most of you would know how to install them but there will of course be a couple of people who have difficulties. So this video here is for my new World War 2 mod. Um, it's, it's Medieval 2 Total War, it's just standard Medieval 2 Total War, but the borders um, appear like Second World War, as you can see, French Empire and stuff like that. Um, over, I think it's a little bit more updated on the actual mod version. Yeah, so first of all, all you need to do is find uh, the link. Um, I have the link on the time lapse video, I'm probably going to link it below on this video as well. Um, it's just... Oops, oh, why have I done? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is the disk strat file that you need. Um, it's got the, the entire World War II mod. Of course, it's only start position. You don't have, like, second World War units. No, that, that's impossible, I think, possibly, to mod on Medieval 2. It's just start positions. And what you need to do is you just need to uh, download it. So, yeah, you're just going to need to download it. Your screen might look a little bit different, but... You know, there'll be somewhere clear that says that you have to download it, so I've been attacked by a fly. Okay, and you don't open it, you have to save it, and it should save to your downloads. Okay, now that you have it downloaded, you need to find uh, where it is. It should be in the downloads file, unless you've got some uh, weird thing in your PC, and um, yeah, here is mine, so... Here's my uh, desk strat World War II file, and you also need to uh, find the original location for the uh, vanilla desk strat file. Mine is um, in Steam Apps, Common, uh, Medieval 2, Total War, Data, uh, yeah, you can just follow on. And yeah, there, there it is if you need it. And here it is, desk strat. Uh, you don't want to make a copy of this. Um, just just in case something goes wrong so you don't have to reinstall the entire game so make sure you have a backup of the original file what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take the second world war file and drag it into your medieval 2 total war uh, folder make sure you've got a backup and then you can replace that one so there it is um, should be installed you can quickly check uh, just scroll uh, actually Look at the top. If Aztecs are playable, then it's worked. Um, you can't actually play as the Aztecs in the mod. That was my mistake. I forgot to mod it out. But you know, if it's there, that's how you know it works. And it just changes all the settlements to how they were in the Second World War. Okay, so you're going to want to uh, load into Medieval 2 Talk to War now. This is uh, just to like test how it works and everything. Um, and, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll play as the Germans. Um, and as you can see it has worked now a couple of things i want to talk about first there's some bugs and there's some things in the mod that have not yet been finished it's kind of i don't know in a beta um, but it's never gonna get really expanded on i don't think or at least not for a while so of course as you can see some settlements start with no units uh you know i, I there's only so much time i can actually invest into this mod but you know, it, it shouldn't be too difficult, just like lower taxes here, although you can't actually do it there, but y y you'll be fine, you'll figure out a way, just like train some units around, um, and you should be able to sort it out very quickly. Um, I advise that you might want to um, use some, a, lit, a very small ad money cheat of like um, 5,000 or something. The reason for this is not only to help you just like get these settlements, uh, up and running with at least a garrison, but it also helps the AI as well, just uh, to get themselves a garrison. And here we are at the overall map. Um, the second thing I want to talk about is this settlement here. This settlement is bugged. Uh, the plan was to, of course, give it to uh, the Italians or possibly the Greeks. Uh, well, either way, I can't because it's bugged. Um, I am working on it. I have found a fix, but um, you know, it's going to, of course, take time for me to fix that. Thirdly, I'm aware of some historical inaccuracies, like the British would have more land over here. Um, basically, there's two reasons for this. It wouldn't look right on the map because it would be separated, which 
historically it's not. It's just these borders are not made to, of course, be a Second World War map. They're made to be a medieval map, so yeah, it causes some difficulties there. And second, it's because of balance. Um, you know, how, how far can the British and the French are already big, and Egypt and Denmark, for example, are small, so. You know, we, we've got to give them something extra just to make it at least a little bit balanced. And yeah, that's what I did for my time lapse. And if you're wondering where the Pope is, well, basically I threw him all the way over here into the Caribbean. Yeah, he he's just going to cause trouble in this. Um, it's just going to cause more bugs. So just I just threw him over to the Caribbean and it, it should be fine. I, I, it might cause bugs in the campaign. Yeah, there's going to be, of course, some bugs and some crashes. So make sure you... Uh, save the game, but it, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too bad. From what I've experienced, it you know it does work and plays through like a normal medieval two total war campaign, but just with but just with different borders. Now there's some parts of this mod that clearly have not been finished, and I don't have the time to because I've actually got to move on and start working on the next video. So you know of course I don't have time to keep coming back to these mods just to fix them. Um, of course, if you want to do some small changes like, you know, Scotland is the most um, unmodded faction here. They've, they've got three settlements with basically nothing in and the generals are still in Scotland. Uh, yeah, that, that was my bad. Um, but of course, you know, I've got to move on to the next video. So if anyone wants to make an upgrade of this mod, uh, then, you know, feel free to. If you want to use this mod in your own videos, then again, feel free to, like, you know, it's... I am the designer of this mod, but it's completely public domain, do with it whatever you wish. Um, of course, if you do use the mod in a video, then you know I'd like it if you did like mention that I am the creator of this mod, but don't worry about it, I don't really mind. So yeah, um, there's probably a few more things I had to say, um, some more bugs that I've forgotten about, but ah, it should be fine. Anyway, hope you have fun with this mod, um, and... Yeah, I, I don't know. Do people want me to actually upload the mod files that I use? If people, I don't know, if people really want to see them, I can do them more often, like actually uploading them as a almost playable mod. There's, there's some clear problems with it, um, unfinished parts, but if people want to see it, then I can do it. And please feel free to uh, subscribe as well, if that's what you want. Uh, for you know more time lapses and uh, more of these mods someday, um, if people of course want me to uh, make them. This mod so far, it's I know it's unfinished, but it took about 20 hours for me to make. Okay, more like 15 hours, but still, they take a lot of while, a long time. Uh, there's a lot of bugs that I encounter. Most of them have been fixed, um, but yeah, there's still some. There's still some annoying things in this game so yeah hope you've enjoyed and goodbye